okay, all right, that's fine, okay, okay. I'm feeling too sexy to accept requests, and I'm way too sexy to go unprotected, and she popped a Tesla, now she gonna let you. Hello, hello guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm just gonna be doing a full set on one of my friends. Um, this is going to be her birthday set, and we were kind of going for this like really pretty purple, kind of like sparkly glitter, kind of tiger-esque. I don't know, we just threw a whole bunch of stuff together, and this is what we came up with. Um, so now I'm just starting by pushing her cuticles back. Um, I'm just using this cuticle pusher and then I'm going to go in and use this cuticle bit from Young Nails. This is, I think it's just a small barrel um, cuticle bit, but it's on the Young Nails website, um, but I can't think of the name right now. And I'm using that at about five or 6,000 RPMs. I don't go any higher than that. Um, depending on how stuck on that this dead skin is or the epinicium, um, I am going to speed up my e-file. And this does a great job of taking all of that dead skin up. Um, and this file, I believe, is... I can't tell if it's my new one or my old one. I think it's my old one. Oh, yeah, it is. So this is still my Melody Susie um, e-file. Um, this is not the new eye one that i had so i will be doing a review on that soon um so right now i'm just going in with this mandrel band mandrel bit with a sanding band lord y'all i can't talk to them so um and i'm just taking off the shine off the natural nail you're not pressing hard into the natural nail at all um it's just very light as long as it takes the shine off and it has kind of that ashy look to the nail you want to make sure you get a resurface that way you don't get any lifting and I do have this on at about a speed of three or 4,000 RPMs. Oh, and this is a 180 grit band. So now I'm just taking some swipe and the Young Nails, uh, I think they're like little, little like uh, lymphary cloths, but they feel like paper towels kind of. But anyway, I used some of that with some swipe and just cleaned off her nail with any debris um, and now I'm just taking some cuticle nippers and cleaning up her cuticles she does have a few hangnails and a lot of dead skin that came up or dead epinicium um, and so we're just gonna nip that off for a cleaner look and I apologize if you guys hear the doors um, closing I am at work in one of the back rooms trying to film so I mean trying to do this voiceover so if you hear that I do apologize so now I'm just sizing her for tips um, and these are just some basic tips that I got at the nail supply store now that every all of the tips are on I am just shaping her nails so a few of them are square and a few of them are going to be stiletto um, and she does like a straight square um, and then as they grow out she does like them tapered so for this first um, initial set they're going to be square now I'm just going in with my Tammy Taylor peel and stick file I'm not gonna lie y'all this one was worth the money like I low-key love this file the only thing I will say that little pink thing it is a little bit thicker so this file is thicker than a normal um hand file but it's really not bad i'm not gonna lie i really like it um and i think these are the pink ones but i think they're 180 grit i'm not sure um but i really like them
Now I'm just going in with a manicure brush. I did get that off of Shein and it's in my Shein haul. Um, and then one of the tips broke so we took it off and put a new one on. Um, and honestly I'm not sure why that happened. I'm not sure maybe the glue is too strong or if the swipe might have um, broken apart the tip. So if you guys know let me know down below. Um, but I am just going back in and getting putting a new tip on that nail. And then I just cleaned all of the, uh, I'm sorry, I didn't get that brush off of Shein. That's just a regular one, but I do have another one that I didn't get off of Shein. Um, but yeah, I'm just cleaning off the nails and make sure that there's no dust. That way we can get ready to prep and prime her. Now you can use the Young Nail Swipe as your dehydrator. Um, that is exactly what it does. It just removes all of the natural oils off of the nail. Um, but that is totally up to you. I do both and still go back in with um, more dehydrator just to make sure, just to be extra safe and cautious. Oh, the um, nail tip cutter that you saw me use, I do have magnets on it, so uh, each, like, a certain amount of magnets, so I think hers, I think we did two or three, um, but that just ensures that all of the nails are the same length. So now I'm just going in with my Gelish uh, dehydrator. This, I believe, is the pH bond is the correct name of it. Um, and then I'm going to go in with the Pro Bond afterwards um, as well from Gelish. And that's going to be my prep and primer. And now I'm just going in with that second coat of um, primer. Next, I'm going in with my Young Nails Protein Bond. And this is going to be my third coat. So I do the Young Nails Swipe to clean up all of the oil. Sometimes I go in with a um, dehydrator just in case. Um, it's not always needed, but you can. Um, and then I do two coats of primer and then one coat of Protein Bond. So you kind of see us going through and making sure I'm putting in the white, I'm sorry, a clear base underneath all of the nails. I don't know why I was about to say white, y'all had a total brain fart. Um, I am going in with some Mia Secret Clear um, just to protect the base of her nails. That way we can try to prevent lifting with colored acrylic, especially because we are using a lot of glitter. Um, and so that doesn't always seal the nail if that makes sense sometimes it still kind of runs in these little gaps and pockets so you just want to make sure that um you have a little bit of a base underneath your nails now when i go in for fills depending on how much is outgrown i will do another um base layer of clear but sometimes it might make the cuticle bead a little bit bulky and we don't want that so sometimes i will go in with the fill and just go straight in with the clear acrylic i mean with the glitter or whatever color acrylic i'm using um that way the cuticle area isn't so bulky So now that all of our clear beads are laid down, I'm going in with this Young Nails Cover Earth. It is such a pretty brown nude um, and it honestly just speaks for itself. I really like it on all of my chocolate girl clients, um, especially if you have more of a warmer undertone. This is a cool toned acrylic, but 
I noticed it fits much nicer than more of the pink lighter based acrylics um, for the cover colors and so this is why I love it I feel like this is pretty universal but I love it more so for my chocolate girls so this is normally my go-to The brush I'm using today is a Poochie Snail size 16. Um, I normally use my Agile Beauty size 18 brush, but I forgot it at work. So um, I am just going in with my brush that I use at home. It is one of my backup brushes. Um, I don't love it. I don't hate it, but she does what I need her to do. And I'm just going to repeat putting that same cover earth um, on her thumb. And so we are kind of figuring out the design as we go along. So you'll kind of see me kind of pause a little bit. And I do apologize for that. I thought I kind of got most of those out. But, um, you know, we're all human. You kind of get to see the process as I'm doing it. So I actually switched to this KDS brush. I don't know what size it is. Um... I would say like a 14 or 16 it's pretty big um and the bristles are a lot softer on it but they're kind of too soft so i don't really like this brush either um but again it's just the extra backup it's what i had at home readily available so i switched between the two just because this is what i'm most comfortable with this is what i like the most and yeah Me. sorry y'all I had to sneeze so on this pinky nail I'm just going in with some custom glitter acrylic I believe this is not gonna lie I don't know it's some custom glitter acrylic mix that I made at home um so unfortunately they don't sell it I can kind of show you tell you how to make it but um I do have a video on that but yeah that's the color we're going in we're just doing a glitter nail on this one and i am going in with a little bit of clear just to encapsulate the nail um because i am done with that i don't have to come back i've already laid my um glitter and now i'm just casing it or encapsulating it in the clear acrylic and this is also going to give it a little bit of strength and we're also not using as much glitter to build up the strength of the nail So this bead went on a little wetter than I had wanted it to only because I mixed um, a clear bead and I put that on my brush. I should say this. I picked up a clear bead before I dipped it into the glitter 
um so it was a little bit runnier than it would be if i just dabbed it straight into the glitter like how it is now it's really thick it's not running anywhere but i'm getting more coverage so i wanted it to cover the nail a little bit more without me having to put on one so much glitter and two that way the nail wouldn't be bulky and i'm just ar arranging um and i'm just arranging some of these glitter so, uh, that is inside of this acrylic mix that way it covers the whole nail and it doesn't look gappy or splotchy So we were saying let's kind of figure out what we want to do with the nails um, and I left that part in because most times if you choose to do nails professionally or if you choose to work on clients, sometimes that happens um, as you're doing the set, sometimes the client may change their mind or sometimes um, they will explain the design to you of how they want their nails to look. So you always have to be open and understanding with what they would like for their nails. Um, but in this case, she was just telling me what she wanted. So that's going to be our all purple nail. Um, so I'm just going in with some clear acrylic. That way I'm not wasting any of my glitter or colored acrylic. And we're just going to build this nail up in clear and then paint over it with gel polish. So the nail tip on her left index finger, that one broke as well. Um, and I didn't have time to peel it off and try and put on a new tip and all that. I didn't want to have to reprep her nail. So we built it out using a nail form. Um, so I'm just going in with some acrylic. You'll see me kind of holding it. That way it can dry a little bit and it's not going to be as runny. Like I said, this is not my normal brush. Um, so I'm just trying to get used to it and you'll grow as you do each set, but because I don't pick it up so often, um, it definitely threw me for a little bit of a curve. Um, like I said, it's a much softer brush. So me padding or swiping sometimes might take off too much product. So now I'm just going in with a second bead on the tip and just extended that nail out just a little bit more. It was a little bit too short and I wanted to make sure that we had full enough coverage all over the nail. That way when we go in with our glitter, um, we do have a nice base for that nail. So I'm just going back in with that glitter acrylic and using a little bit of clear just to help spread that uh, glitter acrylic out. That way it is not super thick on the nail. And I'm just going to blend that out.
I also was prepared that this nail was going to need a lot more shaping than the other nails only because um, I did have to use a nail form and I don't use forms so that was very different for me um, I will use them if I have to but it's not my go-to um, so as you can see it's a little bit thicker now that it is on the form but once we file it you'll barely be able to tell that we ended up having to use a form to build that nail and because her middle finger is going to be her all purple finger this is going to be built out in clear acrylic and if I didn't say this before um, I am using Lumia Secret Monomer and Lumia Secret Clear I will say I do want to switch from this monomer um, she's an oldie but a goodie but I'm ready for something different um, I also noticed that this dries a little bit slower and we do use different products in the shop or at the salon versus what I use at home as well as the temperature so that's kind of why the acrylic is a little bit runnier for me um, at the salon we use chisel we do use Mia Secret sometimes um, but we do use a little bit better quality stuff so we use um, young nails monomer we use chisel but something not as runny as Mia Secret um as well as the young nails speed clear so we're also not waiting around for the mom for the um acrylic to dry all day as well as like i said the temperature because it can vary um on the time of day it's temperature and all that good stuff so like i said i think i will be switching my monomer once this runs out um and on her ring finger i'm just going back in with that young nails cover earth
So now I'm just going in with some gel polish and doing some zebra prints on her nails. So you're basically just going to make a wavy kind of Y for lack of better terms. And then you're going to go in and do it from different um, directions and you're going to connect them. So they're kind of going to spread out like a fork and then kind of come into one like a Y. And I am going to do a few layers of those. So I have her put her hand in the lamp. Um, and cure that. Okay, never mind. We're gonna do her thumb too, and then we're, I'm gonna have her put that hand in the lamp and switch hands. And I apologize, I don't know the colors. I know I do show them later on in the um, video, but I can't think of them off the top of my head. I know that the darker color is from the Lavender Violets um, polish on the Amazon. And the slider one, I think it's like 803 or 804 from the Beatles, but I'm not sure. I'm sorry, it's gonna pop up in just a moment. So I'm just going back in on those same nails that have the zebra print in on a second layer. That way they look layered um, and I'm just filling in all of those empty spaces and gaps. Okay, so this was P107 from Airbit and 801 from the Beatles polish. So I do apologize. And then the third color was the Lavender Violets Purple. So those are the three colors that we used today for her zebra print.
so now we're just going in with some um beetles top coat and this is a no wipe top coat so i'm just coating all of the nails and that making sure that everything is nice and shiny um and i was going in and carrying them along the way just to make sure i wouldn't damage any of the other nails um so you may see me skip a few fingers but i'm making sure that every nail does have top coat on it So now that we are all finished, I'm just going in with some cuticle oil. Um, I did have these on my website, but right now they are down for restocking. Um, I do have to make more, so I do apologize that I am currently out. Um, and after that, I'm going to go in with a hand massage. I believe I show you how I do my hand massages, but in case if I don't, um, I believe I show you in this video. And then she's rubbing me because I'm soft. And of course, don't forget to put cuticle oil on yourself because, you know, why not? That is my personal stash, so I use it on her. She's my friend. It's fine. Um, but I do have a dropper for clients. That way, uh, I'm not contaminating it. Um, and this is how I go in and massage the hand. So I go around the back. Then I go in and pull down. So I normally go like that. Go in between all of the fingers. Flip them in. I don't flip the up, but I do flip the hand up and then massage the inside part of the palm, which is probably why that's what I'm doing here. And you'll see me slide it back. So that's what I'm doing here because you can't see um, when I did the first hand, she had some glitter on her. So I just pulled that off, making sure she is all nice and moisturized. And this is our final product. Thank you guys so, so, so much for watching. Don't forget to like and comment on this video. If you like them, if you want to see something new, let me know. Thanks to our beautiful model who hung out with us today. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't, for, don't forget to subscribe on your way out. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.